My lab mainly studies music and the brain, right? Why do humans in all cultures have music? And I think at the heart of it, it's about the auditory system making connections with the reward system. And what music can bring, uh, and in a way that I don't know of any other um, stimulus can bring is it's a way to, to synchronize people's movements, right? So that we're sharing our predictions. Um, a very good example is like in house music, uh, the beat drop, right? When you have a, a rhythm that's just getting faster and faster and faster and faster and the whole crowd is getting more and more and more excited. And then suddenly you get nothing and then boom, right? So that moment when that happens, right? The dopamine rush is uh, very clearly been shown. And I think that is what really makes music so rewarding. It's not only that uh, music fulfills our predictions, it's also sometimes violating our predictions. And that's how the brain learns, uh, is from making predictions and then learning from the differences between the predictions and what actually happens. It helps to be able to form those predictions and to realize your own predictions because the world is especially unpredictable right now. You know, the coronavirus situation is in a way uh, a bonding experience for the whole world, right? In that and we're all suddenly stuck within the same situation at this time, more than any time. People are turning wow. to music as a way to be in touch with each other and to bond with each other. Personally, I've, star I've started to write songs. I've turned to singing and songwriting. I've never really written a song until the coronavirus song because I really wanted to, to hammer home the, the message to stay at home. Coronavirus song, you're free to sing along. Stay at home, coronavirus friend. So I think the ability to, to, to interpret music and to act on, on your artistic um, creativity is really uplifting, I think, and it's hopeful. Uh,